Fishing News is brought to you by Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, as we're getting into the summer, it's time to start thinking about the many fishing tournaments that are held across the region. And up this weekend, we have the second annual Bad Daddy Buzzards Bay Fishing Tournament taking place on Saturday. There are divisions for both adults and juniors, and eligible species include black sea bass, blackfish, and scut. Check out the calendar item at thefisherman.com for more details on this event, as well as hundreds of other upcoming fishing tournaments and related events. Okay, moving on into the fishing reports. We're gonna start off, as always, in Connecticut, where some really nice striped bass were landed in the sound the last few days, but none larger than the massive fish landed by Jolene Wigan off Westbrook over the weekend on a live bunker. The fish measured 51.75 inches to the fork and sported a massive 33 inch girth. Now, using the IGFA formula, it puts the fish in at roughly 70.44 pounds. This striped bass will probably go down as one of, if not the largest striped bass of the season here in New England. And what's even better is the fish was released to be caught again. And then fluke fishing off the Connecticut coast is going strong right now with solid catches being made throughout the sound. Gene from Black Hall Outfitters in Old Lime nailed a couple of nice doormats this week by making a steam out towards Block Island, but word is that there are plenty of good fish to be had closer to home if you can't make the ride all the way out to the island. Moving on into Rhode Island, a few fluke fishing over there continues to produce some solid catches both off the beaches of South County as well as out by Block. I received a picture of a nice 23 inch fish landed by uh, Wes Verdridge over the fishing off of Mesquamacet recently, so there's some good fish close to the mainland as well as out by the island. And striped bass reports are coming in from pretty much every corner of the ocean state right now, with fish being found up in the bay around Providence, along both the Narragansett and Newport shorelines, the South County breachways, and out around Block Island at both the North Rip as well as over around Southwest Ledge. There are some large schools of squid around, as well as some bunker closer to the mainland, so there's plenty of bait to hold these fish in for the time being. Okay, moving on up into Massachusetts, some larger striped bass as well have begun to filter through the canal this week, with fish in excess of 30 pounds being landed. And Jacob from Red Top nailed a nice 27 pounder out of the canal recently, and I've heard of both topwater as well as subsurface lures producing well in the canal. And then lastly, on the tuna side of things, I recently began the offshore report for the season, and a solid slug of bluefin have already made an appearance out east of Chatham. However, the biggest fish that I've heard of so far was landed on Sunday aboard Got Striper Charters with Captain Alan Hasbacher, and the fish weighed 453 pounds dressed and was landed on spinning gear. It's one of the biggest tuna taken on spinning gear to date. There's also been good pods of fish running between roughly Nantucket and Block Island, but word is those fish are really on the move, so consider yourself lucky if you happen to intercept them. And again, as I'm covering the offshore reports this year, if you feel, feel free to email me your reports at tlipinski at thefisherman.com every week, and I'll include them in print. Just make sure to have them in to, to me by 6 p.m. on Sunday in order to make that week's issue. All right, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines and head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.